Today, I went to bargaining because there's nothing else to do in the winter except cry and anxiously pick at your dry skin. Anyways, I started going down the hill and I was picking up a lot of speed and I couldn't stop myself and I crashed into the tree. And when I woke up, my friends had left me and I was in the middle of nowhere until I saw some orange man in the distance. And at first I ran to the bushes and I hid in fear, but then I realized I need to get back to civilization. So I followed them and after like six hours, I finally found the man in the middle of an alleyway and I screamed, hey! And that's when I realized the man that saved me was Ed Sheeran. And I said, thanks, Ed Sheeran. But I f***ing hate your music. You literally make the worst music known to man. Anyways, I jumped him. And I got his credit card. And as I was running away, I remembered Ed Sheeran is definitely rich. So I bought myself a penthouse in downtown New York City. And then I went to Best Buy and I got myself 20 MacBooks that I now use as plates. So everyone, please say thank you, Ed Sheeran. So it is currently December. And the pandemic has gotten on my last nerve. So I bought a coronavirus vaccine off of Wish.com for only $20,000. And I had to wait two months for it to come. But then it finally arrived in this huge crate that I could barely lift up the stairs. But I opened up the box and I pulled the vial out. I wasn't sure how to take it, but I wasn't going to use a needle because I am needleophobic. So I put some of it in my juice bottle and I drank it and I was feeling pretty okay. And I went to go test it out by licking as many public surfaces as I could for an hour straight. Then as I was walking home, I started to feel a little dizzy. And when I finally got home, I double-checked the packaging, only to realize they had sent me a vial of Obama bathwater. And there was no vaccine. I took the vial and flushed it down the toilet, but then I remembered, Oh, uh, you can't flush glass down the toilet. And then I heard a bang! And I ran outside to go see what it was. And all the pipes had exploded on my street, and there was doo-doo water everywhere. And I had caused a disaster. But the one good thing was, I saw Remy the Ratatouille floating on a piece of cheese. And I said, hi, Remy, as he sailed off into the drain. So my dad loves mangoes, so for Christmas, I got him a single mango from Walmart. Walmart is his Christmas present, but I couldn't just wrap it because it would be obvious that I got him a mango like everyone else does for Christmas. So I grabbed my wrapping paper and I wrapped it as something completely different and then I put it under the tree. But a few weeks had passed and it started to smell really bad and when I checked it, the mango had molded. So I had to throw the whole freaking present out and wrap a brand new mango. But I had run out of wrapping paper, so I got in my car and I drove back to Walmart and I found a tube of basic wrapping paper. And then I pretended it was a sword and I was swinging it around but I accidentally killed a minion. <laughs> Anyways, then I was bored in line, so I screamed into it like a horn, and I said, Arby's, we have the meat! Anyways, I got home, and I cut up the mango, I grabbed a random DVD case, and I put all the mango slices in it, but my dad's cat tried eating it, Ugh. And then I wrapped the Lego Star Wars for Xbox 360 disc case, and put it under the tree. And when I woke up this morning on Christmas, I gave it to him. What? <laughs> Since it's now 2021, that means that the Global Panda Express is officially over. Oh, wait, I was just kidding. I meant the Global Pandemic is officially over. They might be thinking, how is that possible? Well, two weeks ago, I cured coronavirus by filling a bottle rocket with hand sanitizer, and I sent it into the atmosphere. And for the past two weeks, the hand sanitizer has been spraying into the air, and people all around the world have been breathing in my vaccine air. Now, to test my theory, I decided today to see if I can find any pesky COVID germs lying around. So, I went to the gas station and I licked the debit keypad and then I licked my fingers after typing in my pin, which is one, two, three, four. And then after that, I went to Panda Express and I enjoyed some yummy shrimp. But when I was driving home, I felt the COVID-21 germs from licking the gas station keypad bubbling in my stomach and I went home and I fell to my bed and I started coughing when all of a sudden I coughed up a piece of Lego, but I kept coughing and eventually I had enough Lego pieces of a little Lego house. So maybe COVID-21 isn't that bad. Hi, you're about to watch me transform into Donald Trump. I did it by going to Party City to get a Trump wig and orange face paint and then I put on his dump truck, yuck, yuck, ugly as f wig on. And then I covered my face in the orange paint to look like his moldy oldie so orange it's unholy looking like he's 80 skin. Which ended up staining my fingers and my face orange and it got in my eyes, which was really painful. But that's not the point. The point is I remembered Trump is now unemployed. So I thought I'd prank all some places using my Trump voice. And ask if I can get a job, a very big job. <laughs> First, I called Home Depot since they're orange just like Trump. Are you guys hiring by any chance? Spectacular. Wonderful. I actually lost my job today. Here's my application. First name, Donald. Last name, Trump. Uh, we're out of time, but if you want to see if I got a job interview, the link to the YouTube videos in my bio. Okay, bye. Today, as I was driving, I saw the most precious old man dressed up as Santa, and he was standing on the street corner waving at cars as they went by. So I parked my car, and I went up to him, and he was giving out free candy canes. I thought that was so nice. So I grabbed the whole basket, because I was really hungry, and they were also free. And as I was running away from him, I heard him call me a ho-ho-ho or something. But anyways, I got into my car, and I ate all the candy canes, and they were so delicious. But that's when I noticed that the basket said, Salvation Army Donation Bin. And I was like, Army? I 
didn't know Sam streamed BTS. But then I saw there was a bunch of money at the bottom, and I started to tear up because not only did Santa give me free candy canes, but it also gave me free money. So guys, from now on, if you ever see one of these in public, that is a bucket of free money just for you. So make sure you grab it and run. I was sitting on the floor eating a Rice Krispie snack when my dad randomly came home with a dog. We don't have a dog. We have a cat. So what is that? And I said, did you just buy a dog? And my dad told me he just bought a dog. So um, I guess I have a dog at my dad's house now. And I went to go pet it, but it keeps running away from me and looking at me like I'm a demon, which I am. <laughs> but it still made me sad. And I was sitting around trying to figure out how to become friends with this baby dog. And then I realized I could probably give it something like a treat. So I got off my butt and I went upstairs and I looked in the pantry and found some dog bones. I opened up the package and grabbed a bone and then I slowly approached him and placed it on the mat. But then my dad's cat Luna got in the way. Oh. Anyways, I gave it another bone and <laughs> it bit my hand so hard like three fingers fell off. I had to call an ambulance. Just kidding. Uh, he let me come near and when I touched him he twitched and it scared me a little bit. But then he let me pet him. And now we're almost besties and I took him on a little walk and took some cute pictures with him. So if you want to see more of Sammy, I posted the pics on my Instagram at Ben of the Week. Okay, bye. So I was going through my local Taco Bell drive through when I saw some money had fallen out of a customer's car in front of me. So I pulled up to pick it up and it was $200. And at first I was like, whoa, Canadian money actually does smell like maple syrup. But secondly, they probably need it. I should really leave it behind for them. Psych bitch. I went to Michael's and spent $200 on crap. Cause last time I went to Michael's, I was like a toddler with like three Robux in my bank account. So I walked in and I decided to buy whatever looked cool. I found one of those kits where you break open the geodes. So I grabbed one of those and then there was a bunch of fake fruit and I saw they had fake bananas. So I bought a fake banana. But when I went to pay Hey, the cashier found a bite mark on my banana and asked me if I still wanted the bitten banana, but I bought the bitten banana anyways. And then when I got home, I broke the box open because I don't own scissors. And look, it came with these fun goggles. Uh, anyways, next I went to my garage to find a hammer and then I put the geode on the ground and smashed it! And that baby blew open! And it looks kind of like a fruit gusher, so um, please let me know in the comments if I can eat these or not. Thank you, bye. Hi, here's how you can save the Arctic in less than a minute. There's a place called the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. It is one of the last places in the U.S. Arctic where endangered animals such as polar bears, caribou, and over 200 species of birds are protected from humans. Trump's administration could open up this piece of public land and sell it for oil and drilling by January 6th. Now, the Gwich'in people have been living on this sacred land for decades. This land is home to them, and they will be irreversibly harmed along with all the other wildlife that live there if we let this happen. So here's how you can help stop that in the time that it takes to watch a TikTok. Please go Go to protectthearctic.org. The link is in my bio on both Instagram and TikTok. Just write your name, email, and it'll send a message to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And hopefully with enough of these messages, we can prevent the sale. The Arctic is already in the worst shape that's ever been before because of climate change. We will be the generation that's affected by climate change the most. We can do our part to fix this. So please do this quick action. Push for sustainability in your daily life. And that's all for now. I love you. Bye. Okay, so I bought one of those things that lets you FaceTime your dog and shoot treats at them. But today I was looking at the camera and I noticed that she's been taking all her treats behind the couch for some reason. So I went to go see what she was doing with them and um, she's been storing them so that she can pretend like I never gave her one in the first place and then ask for more like the fat little bitch she is. And yes, I can call her that because bitch means female dog and she is a female dog. Anyways, I had enough of her scamming me. So I decided to empty out the treat machine and fill it with her least favorite treat. Green beans, baby! I put a bean on the plate and cut it up into small little pieces, and then I loaded it into the machine, and I shot it out at her, and at first she didn't want to eat it, but then she got bored, and she ate them, and I was so happy, because I thought I got her on a diet, until I heard a weird coughing noise come from downstairs. I ran downstairs to see what was happening, and that's when I saw her in my beanbag bed, next to the beans, which she had thrown out, oh, no, I got beans in my bed! Today, I woke up and grabbed my phone and text my friends, good morning, bestie. But instead, I chose violence today. And out of the blue, I Snapchatted my friend, I know what you did. And then I had added her on Snapchat because I wanted to see her anger level. Then I put my phone away and I went upstairs to make lunch. And while I was getting the ingredients to make some delicious chocolate nachos, my phone started blowing up. But I didn't look at them because I was microwaving my chocolate nachos. And then once the nachos were done, I sat down and I enjoyed them. And then I went to the sink and I washed my plate. And then I decided it was a good time to assess her anger levels. So I checked my phone and she had said, Yeah, I told everyone you're an ugly ass, annoying ass, smelly, especially smelly ass bitch with a dog delivery.
looks like a raw chicken breast that you could boil and use the eye crust as seasoning. Lose my number. So anyways, um, I don't have my best friend anymore and I'm going back to bed. I'm a Canadian, and this is my Canadian passport, and this is my Canadian passport picture. Uh, and for some reason, I'm in the freaking United States during the season finale of America. Because I'm stupid, and I just really wanted some good American fast food. Anyways, I was trying to escape before it becomes the newest Purge movie. So I packed up my JoJo Siwa poster, and my Rainy Rodriguez shrine, and my favorite toilet seat, and I left my room for the very last time, and walked over to the bus station to go back to Canada. And as I was sitting on that bus, I remembered I forgot my passport on my desk while filming this TikTok. So I freaked out, and I got off the bus, and I ran back to my place faster than Zoe Laverne is running from the federal authorities. And once I grabbed it, I then called an Uber back to Canada, and it was $4,000! But I booked it since I missed the bus. Anyways, the Uber arrived, so I went downstairs, and I got in, and the guy was chill until he turned to me and said, is it just you? And I said, why? And he said, I ain't never seen two pretty best no! friends.